to French princes. Snap came old dirty bastards. Spent half their life off their nut getting plastered. Two decades later, after they first met, now chat is shit on your TV set. It's Scotty Money, Scotty Money, Scotty Money, Scotty Money, Scotty Money. Welcome back, it's Agony Uncles, I'm Scotty, that's Motti. If you're watching us for the first time, do us a favor. We're solving your problem, well that's a bit of a date. We're making your life worse, so press subscribe to help us do it further. Are you heartbroken and need somewhere to let it out? Are you having problems in the bedroom and can't get it up? We won't help with any of those problems. Motti and Scotty will just laugh and join in everybody else at home. Yes, also we've got a special guest, haven't we? Yes, he, he's not heartbroken, and I've heard that he can. My, my trouble <laughs> with him is, right, yes. He's very vira virile, even. There you go. He's very viral. He's nubile, yeah. Um, he, he's actually here to give good advice, though. That's what worries me. We need to make sure he understands that that's not the nature of it, because Joe often gives me good advice, but we're not here for that, Joe. So don't think you're here to solve problems. You're not. You're here to exacerbate them. It's Mr. Joe Smith from the Sloppy Joe's podcast. Woo! There he is. Hello, big thank Hello. you, Thanks big for thank me. you, thank you. I mean, yeah. So we feature this, isn't it? What's that? Celebrity agony, uncle. Yeah, we've had Angelina Kelly on here. We've had Joe Smith. We're gonna have Ethan uh, James next week. Just decided. Um, what sort of <laughs> advice do you go to Joe for? <laughs> Mate, everything. I usually have a, I have a meltdown at least once a month where I decide I'm quitting the channel, and he talks me out of it, um, for ran randomly. Um, I have I I'll, I'll fall out with people just just constantly and he usually talks me around to sort of convince me it doesn't really matter and he's yeah. usually, usually like Marshall underscore 2012 or something on Insta on uh, Twitter that I'm ready to kill over a tweet I didn't like and he'll ground me and say come on Jay just put the knife down yeah put the knife down get off the ledge it's not that deep so he is my guru he is he, he's, he's what he's, makes he's, a guru though like like you know like and we'll ask you actually this job what makes somebody who gives you good advice like when a, how, how do you trust people a beard mm -hmm. a beard gotta have a beard yeah yeah Longer, right? Yeah, um, at least six foot three. <sighs> That's why he never phoned me. No. <laughs> well, you you had two of those things for a little while. You had a, you had heavy stubble yeah. and long hair. Yeah. But it was just a height thing, bro. Do you know what I mean? I need to be looking up to a guru. So that's why Joe, when, you looking looking, guru. when you're looking up to him, Listen. he seems like, even if he doesn't know what he's on about, he sounds yeah. like he does, he seems like he it's does. It's all about stature. It is, bro. You know, you know what? what I mean? Well, you, you've obviously never seen Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say Chewbacca gave out bad advice. What? That's what I thought you were going that one. <laughs> well, that was your point you were making. I wasn't going to refer to Chewbacca. Joe is Chewbacca. When Chewbacca I gave out advice, but you meant like Yoda, who was Lickle. Yeah, Lickle. He had sage advice. Yeah, he did. He was the only one, really. He didn't like, let everyone down when in the end. Yeah. Joe, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, very good. Good to see you. Good to be back. Good to be back on the channel. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Do you, do you like people coming to you for advice Joe. Uh, if it's if someone says i need your advice i get the pressure starts yeah. but <laughs> what Jay does, he, yeah. he sort of he, he slips it into other conversations so before i know it i'm giving advice but really i just think it's a normal conversation yeah i think that's the way to get me if you pin me down i'll flap <laughs> but if you sort of if you feel like it's organic then i'll, I'll help you out yeah resting at home like oh, shit, i hope you got yeah, i hope you the right the right advice yeah, exactly yeah. well i'm still here yeah and i've gone i've like since i've known joe i'm still with my missus i've still i'm i've not been nicked mm -hmm. i haven't drunk or used drugs so I'm not saying he's responsible for that, but he's, you know, <laughs> he, he, you know, it might be a coincidence, yeah, but yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a good chance that he is responsible. Right. So you know I, mean? one I think I give my missus too much credit for all, you know. And Joe deserves. Yeah, it I think Joe deserves a real credit. Actually, Thank I you. think I need to rethink my. He was my, wobbling you know. while you were away, actually, Joe. <laughs> yeah. What on which one of those things? All of them. <laughs> they, they all stemmed from this place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all leading to the Kraken and the police office. The police. Yeah, I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> When Joe was away, the other presenter as well steps up. <laughs> you, other you, couldn't, you couldn't move in here for the other presenters. <laughs> <laughs> Former Q Housen. Right, anyway, we've got at least one person that will give you some decent advice, according to Jay. Uh, yeah. But let's kick off. What's the first problem? Very simple, very succinct. He wants to introduce food in the bedroom. Oh, and what? that is from Julie in Stratford. She's not even elaborating. She's just saying this is the thing. He wants to do that. 
perfect and we've got a Joe Sloppy Joe on the show Sloppy Joe man you, I bet oh. I don't want to pry but is this something you've got experience with so I am prying actually I'm prying as much <laughs> as I can you know um, when you go to a, a, a harvester yeah like, I've the, never been there but I've heard of him and there's the beef master who's got all the meats in front of him that he can carve and disperse at his whim <laughs> That's me in the bedroom. I've got a small <laughs> hut, a wooden hut around me. I've got a carving knife and four different birds. Uh, so and, you and in, the be- in, the be- in the bedroom, you're called the beef master? They call me the, well, I call myself the beef master, yeah. <laughs> I've got a lamb, I've got four different birds. Like I said, I've got a wren, a uh, gu- guinea fowl, a chicken and a turkey. Uh, there's obviously beef, beef master. Uh, and then sometimes, if, if lucky, we'll get a little bit of venison. Yeah, and Oof. I can disperse that out to any naked body that I see fit throughout the evening. See, I wouldn't. You see, you don't think of meats, do you? When you that, think that's of what that threw me. And no. guinea fowl. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't have thought if you incorporating food into the bedroom, guinea fowl would have been one. I'd have thought, you know, like chocolate spread or something. Can you imagine that if they've like <laughs> what are you laughing chocolate at? Chocolate spread. spread. You'd be watching partridge. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> battle <laughs> commence. Yeah. I like a little bit of pate in the bedroom. Do you? Oh, yeah, oh, I always have pate. Pate. I'm not a sweet pate, though. They like yeah. the texture. I like um, a bit of pizza. A bit of pizza. <laughs> what? What like turning a uh, turning a part of the flesh into pizza? Like getting the, no, the, just the tomato puree. No, just eating pizza. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> off, off, off your partner or just eating pizza? No, just it's probably sat next to right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what about you? Yeah, I've, I've done that. Have you? Yeah. yeah Do you know why I've never ever right? I had food in the bedroom. <gasps> like genuinely, as, as part of the 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 the. the Love making process. Why? I just, I just never think, you know, not, not into all that. Yeah. Well, like, you're not very adventurous food wise. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> I've done it at least three different positions. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, food wise, listen, I'm not very adventurous eating food anyway. I have like seven meals that I rotate and then per week. And then also, in terms of like bringing food into the bedroom, I've never really been into that. But I'm not saying never say never. It's just not my thing. But what would you say to Julie though? He wants her fellow wants yeah. to do that. I'd ask him what sort of like put it down on the shopping list, and if yeah. it isn't too sort of you know out of risky, yeah. Risk yeah. yeah. And as long as it's cooked. Is there a limit where you go? You won't nah, be like raw chicken that. in, does you? What? You're bringing a raw chicken in? Patrice <laughs> Everstein. <Yeah. laughs> Um, looking, looking. Yeah. What, is there a limit where you go no no so like raw chicken is a no no as long as it's cooked and I don't like cooked. fresh I don't, yeah right okay I don't really like raw tomatoes raw tomatoes like, if it, if you was, don't like I love raw tomatoes you like no, cooked tomatoes if there was nah. a raw mat- I had that at Sloppy Joe's actually that was my one out of is it one did out of ten did he get one? his thing in at Sloppy Joe's yeah the one out of ten both of them are dead well, neither of mine tomatoes yeah, tomatoes and some, like grilled tomatoes. And they went in the one out of ten. Yeah, no, they did. Not you weren't here wishes. whilst Joe was away. Oh, that's, oh, that's the, the that. wheels Tomatoes came off when you were away, food. son. Hey, um, on multitude of ch- uh, multi channels. Mm. Is that, is it, when you say it has to be cooked, so you n- you're not going down the kind of because strawberries. Well, oranges, sorry, yeah, no, chocolate. I do the like, yeah, the fruits and stuff. I've been down that road with the bananas yeah. and the, the berries and grapes and stuff oh, like that. Very yeah, nice, yeah. 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 Proper fruit salad. I mean, like, if it's got to be cooked to be at. Mm. Although, sushi. <laughs> sushi? <laughs> I've seen that in a film. I'm that not a big, I'm more of a chicken katsu curry fan. <laughs> it's what a about bit messy, that? Like, you can't get on top of someone. Well, I don't like sushi. <laughs> it's katsu. minging. Can you, they're putting katsu curry on top of someone. It's nice. Is you can't buy that. I'll discuss it. Um, I well, think she doesn't want this. Well, the way. fact she's re- reached out to us makes me indicate that you're right. Mm. Or makes, uh, makes me think you're right, sorry. Um, yeah, because I think if we were to read it in the way it's meant to be read, it'd be like, he wants to introduce food in the bedroom. I think it's like that. Okay. Not, he wants to introduce food in the bedroom. Right, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I think I'm Julie between the lines. should stop being a prude. Start small. Mm. Yeah. yeah. What's your go-to introduction to food stuff in the bedroom? Oof, that's a great one. I'd probably go with the fruits. When you yeah. say something, you can get like yeah. a cheap like fruit mix from fruit platter, fruit platter, fruit, fruit cocktail. cocktail. Although yeah, from, from <laughs> tin of fruit, co- tin yeah. of peaches. There you Although, go. Although uh, um, there's enzymes in pineapple. Isn't I was going to say you can't. The certain pen, p- pineapples are the, the certain yeah, things you can't put anywhere. in other bits that, that you don't want them. Yeah. What about pineapple pineapple rings round your knob? Well, like, you a, like, 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 uh, yeah, you, you can stand there. You can play a nice pineapple ring. Well, there you ring go. You can play a game. And then like, you go hoop, hoop the pineapple on the penis. Yeah, that, yes. There you go. That rolls there off you the go. Room. That's good stuff. There you go, Julie. I think we've solved that problem for you. Um, moving swiftly on, is snoring a reasonable grounds for separation? And this is from Laura and Eccles. Yes. Oof. Straight away. 
Really? Yeah, I couldn't be asked for that. And it's, yeah, I think Why? So. Snoring, it's something you don't do voluntarily. It's an accident. If the you're going to just say, right, that's it, you were done because you think snore. If they're refusing to at least have an operation to sort it out, an then operation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I what think do you mean, like, an operation? Is that a like, thing? Like, like, yeah, you can get operations in your nose to sort of to, to stop the snoring. And if they're not willing to do that, then they don't love you. That's the way I see it. Why don't the person who's pissed off about the snoring just wear earplugs? Well, I'll move to another room. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that it's a, if, if it's so not. You're on the side of the, the, the non snorer. Only, relationships only work on compromise, Jay. Yeah, and, and wearing earplugs is a compromise. The snorer is being very inconsiderate. Albeit subconscious left. Joe? Yeah. How about uh, there's you? loads of reasons that you aren't in control of that decide who goes out with you and who doesn't. How good looking you are, how tall you are. You know, like, there's loads of things that are out of your control that people will judge you for one way or another. Like, yeah, but snoring, people, you like, you get to a stage where you've met someone, they're tall enough, they're good looking enough. Yeah. They let you throw well, short enough. pineapple rings on the knob. Yeah. You're happy. And then by the time you got to that stage where you, you know they snore, you, you're together, aren't you? So I'm sure it's worth working around that. No, I wouldn't be bothered. No, <laughs> no. just fuck it no. off. Fuck off. Yeah? Yeah. I just couldn't be asked. Do you be snore, asked. It's the rest Let's of your life. I you snore. snore. Do you both snore? I, I, I snore. I snore. I snore, yeah, man. I, have you not been on a flight with me? I've been in, I've shared a room with you. Yeah, about but I'm not, not what keep you awake. My yeah. snoring's horrendous. You know, you know, especially on flights. Do you know when I realised that Jay could snore? It wasn't when we lived together in Malia many years ago. It was when we took our kids to watch Shrek the musical oh. and he fell asleep. Lord Farquhar was on stage singing. Lord Farquhar was funny as well. Yeah, bro. well, so it was funny. A good play so funny that Jay fell asleep. Yeah. And then Jay's back like catching flies. I'm a nightmare. Fall, fall, in oh public, I'm a nightmare for it. You'd think I was yeah. sat at home, like in front of the fire. I'm like. <laughs> Like proper, yeah. like my mate told me that he got a flight with me and he said you was, he said as soon as, because when I get a flight, as soon as I sit down, you've been on a flight with yeah, me. Yeah. I go to sleep quite quickly and he said you were a fucking nightmare. Right? Yeah, I was close to separating our friendship that night. Mate, we've been, we, you've been threatening that for 20 odd years. Yeah. Um, right, I think we've uh, cured Laura's problem there. Basically, I say earplugs, Scotty says divorce, Joe says you shouldn't have got with him in the first place. Mm -hmm. That, so take your pick who you are <laughs> listening to. Um, my favourite employee made me look like a dickhead at work in front of everyone. I'm leaving in the summer and wondering if I should seek revenge. And this is from Jürgen in Liverpool. Mm -hmm. hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder what sort of like profession Jürgen's in. Well, I don't think there's bad employees. I just think there's bad bosses. Is there really? That's my mom. That's what Ethan Unless said. Unless it's an employee of mine, in which case it's bad employees. <laughs> There's exceptions to the rule, but yeah, yeah. I think I think Jurgen um, needs to take a look at himself. To be honest, really? Yeah. Would you I've, would would you seek revenge? You got five. You, you know you know your ends coming. You got like five weeks left. Would you like do something to him? What like, like pissing his boot? Um. I'm more of a f fan of the like the psychological maiming, the the long term sort of little things that you don't see. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That just annoy. What about you, Joe? Where do you stand on this? Mm. You're a man of many it's talents tough, and wisdom. I don't, I'm not. I'm a man who I don't believe in vengeance. You don't. You're not very revenge. bitter, you are. No. It, that's the one be. disappointment I've got in you yeah. as, a, as a person. You're yeah. not petty like, and bitter I like, like me. Scotty. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Me and Scotty are bitter, sad, yeah. twisted, petty, what? small yeah. men. Yeah. You know, emotionally fragile. What are you fragile, saying yes for? Yeah. Emotionally fragile, yeah. just selfish, mm -hmm. just hypocritical. You've been reading my blog post then, which is yeah. nice to hear. <laughs> Good. This is a character assassination. Where, where I'm, I'm talking about us both. But that doesn't, that doesn't help me bring me down <laughs> with you. you know, like, we are. We're very small minded. And I look at it as a badge of honour. Whereas Joe, I've you know, Joe likes to rise above it, which I hate that. Don't rise above J things. Jay walks, J Joe walks on water though, doesn't he? He does, he's very, he's very pious. Yeah. yeah, so you're just saying just rise above it. And you should have done something in the moment. And if you didn't, That's a coward. great point. Yeah. yeah, don't be writing about what you wish you'd have done and asking for advice. You should have just chinned him there and then. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine, I love that. Oh, mate, that would have been amazing, wouldn't it? That would have been so, just so good. He's, he's had enough practice at diving backwards. Oh, nicely done. Liverpool probably would have got a penalty. <laughs> Double whammy. There you go. <laughs> so there you go, Jürgen. I hope we've helped you. Um, what's the maddest reason you've broke up with someone? And that's Mervyn in Wolverhampton. Mervyn? Who's going? Well, um, Joe? 
He's got a smirk on. Uh, so, I didn't, uh, not have very, you ever broke up with someone? Yeah. What, love? Yeah. Not, yeah. <laughs> have I fucking yeah, yeah. love, bro? What, what, have I broke up with someone? What, what the camera's not right. showing you? Is that hey. he's rubbing his face? I've never seen Joe <laughs> react like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> he was two steps away from you know? sparking a sink. Yeah. Fuck it, I'll tell you, Sam. I don't believe in vengeance for playing the field. Hey. <laughs> I'll finish with loads of birds. <laughs> <laughs> you're creating a monster. Sorry, the sorry, Joe. Master. Elaborate. The beef master. Yeah, the beef master's broke up with X amount of fucking women. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> hey. No, I, uh, I, I, I broke up. I didn't break up, but I didn't. I stopped seeing someone because uh, she opened her eyes too wide. That was one. That what? Was so we, we, I went on. Uh, when I seen her for a little bit, and um, but when she talked to you, yeah. she'd do this sort of thing where she'd be like. Hi. Oh, oh really? And really like, open her eyes up like she yeah. was trying to look really sort of like doe-eyed and cute, but it came across as sort of psychotic. Oh, um, yeah. Another person I, I stopped seeing, I think I've told you this before, Jay, but it turned out she was a um, anti-Semitic conspiracy theorist. So I, st <laughs> so I stopped seeing her. Wait, at what point did you realise that? Was it like on the third date? Or no, it was the first you'd date. you moved in together? It was the first date. So it wasn't right. technically a breakup, but... She was keen to go on a second and, and we didn't, but it was it was very much I'm quite cool. disturbed that someone throws in the anti Semitism and the conspiracy yeah. on the first day. Well interestingly Because usually the madness don't come out so at least uh, for me, at least three months in. Yeah, no, that's the usual template. For me, I, I only knew about the conspiracy theory side of it and I didn't find out about the anti Semitic side until months later. But I told you not yeah. to go on that Nazi th website, dating website. I said to you, if you go on that Nazi conspiracy theory website, but love at dates, first Reich. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You can end up with an anti-Semitic conspiracy theorist, and you said, "Oh, Jay, you're so judgmental. Give everyone a chance." Yeah. That that is. What what what, what were you thinking, sat there on this date, and she's coming out of this? Because just for a bit of context yeah. as well, you are part Jewish as well, aren't you? Which just adds to it. Well, uh, uh, Jewish sort of heritage. Yeah, heritage. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, not that that matters, because yeah. obviously you're not, you know, you're obviously against racism of all sort of kinds. Of but course. Also, that, that adds to the bizarreness of this entire situation. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't realise that at the start. We just went on a date and essentially the whole time it was just her talking at me about how Hillary Clinton was <laughs> eating babies, how oh, <laughs> it was the real deep stuff. It wasn't just like, oh, JFK was a bit weird. It was like, this is where this is where they do it. Show me on like Google Maps where they eat them, how they harvest, like proper like deep level stuff. Um, we actually saw Harry Enfield as well near the end of the day, which was probably the best bit. Love uh, that. Saw him in Spa uh, on Piccadilly Gardens. Um, but so for, uh, already I was like, this is mad. I don't need to, s I'm never gonna see this person again. Yeah. Um, and then a few months later, I heard a story about someone saying that they had to move out of their flat because their flatmate um, pretended to be Jewish to become friends with them and then expose themselves as a um, uh, conspiracy uh, theorist gee. who was trying, who was assuming that they were part of some big um, oh, that's awful. Government plan thing, yeah. So, so that was wow, I mean, nobody's going to judge Couldn't be bigger yeah. in terms of the conspiracies, yeah. Wow, that is mental, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That you is, that is like, that is full. Imagine just sitting there listening to that and thinking, fuck you know, like, what am I doing here? Was you drinking? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Right, right, but it yeah. started before the drinking started. Right. Or no, no, I just mean like, was you able to just sort of, you know, numb the fucking yeah, nonsense? It was only a couple yeah. of hours. Yeah, it, I know. fair play. Yeah. What about you? There's been two. Are you like the beef master general over there? Have you been dishing fucking dropping anti-Semites like no one's business? <laughs> dropping anti-Semites? Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, that's like what he glorious gets. bastards. Yeah, so. like fucking, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 Brad Pitt. Well, yeah, going around fucking <laughs> scalping them. <laughs> I've got a few scalps on me wall. Yeah, so. uh, yeah. I'd probably two that spring to mind. One was a girl, uh, absolutely stunning girl that I met in Forty Second Street, and we've been seeing each other for a while. And then the first night that we they did the dance, uh, it was at a house party, and a brother was in the, the next room. Uh, with friends, not just waiting for us. Cause I'd no, be a about bit to say this yeah. sounds a bit normal. And then um, anyway, going to the other room, have the sex, and then uh, have the sex come back in and then they, uh, we end up speaking, like for two hours to say like what they're going to do about her ex-boyfriend who she had a kid with right. and they were like doing plotting to get rid of him right like, what proper like gets rid of him what like you know like yeah yeah pretty much and like really? going to graphic detail and all that and I was like 
Right. I was like, and I was like just nodding along and like, yeah, well, yeah. there's them forests and the proper going in. I thought this really? Yeah, really, really freaked the shit out of me. But she was fit. Right. So it's like she's a f- Can murderer. you stand can you stand by a murderer? Well, she's very like she like Natalie and Brulio. Really? Yeah. Shut up. What, you you met, where did you meet her? You met a Natalie and Brulio look like in 40 seconds straight. Alright, right, you might have done. She's a murderer. But she looks no, like she, 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 she was debating becoming a murderer and a, a boyfriend well, at the time. he wasn't debating being a murderer. Uh, I mean, you've had a few conversations. Uh, you've had conversations in kitchens at three o'clock in the morning. That's true. Right, My so this is, this is, this, that, that, that was the sort of environment we're in. Her ex-boyfriend was being a dick and they were talking about doing it. So I just ignore that? But I was, I was debating that, but I got a bit scared anyway. So then uh, she said, right, well, I'll give you a call tomorrow. Anyway, I ended up giving her Nathan's number and I ended up seeing her again. I, I regretted that. Yeah, I think you, I, you've gone down in my estimation. Yeah, the next no. one's worse. Well, go on then. So the, the, this is one I'm not particularly proud of. So it was oh, a girl that um, got a haircut and I, I didn't like a haircut. Oh. So I, Really? It was bad. So, so she had blonde hair, or like, right. like bleach blonde hair. And, yeah. and, then, and then she'd always fancied to go on short, like Sharon Stone in the 90s. Sort of yeah, short. yeah. Anyway, so she, she did that. Yeah. And I couldn't get over the fact that she looked like Alan Smith. Oh, really? And then that was that. <laughs> That's a shame. Could you not have waited till it grew back and then got No, I didn't know because no. It, that wouldn't oh. be because it would have been like boning Alan Smith. I mean, he couldn't he's do a good it. looking lad. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Never mind. That's a shame, isn't it? So you, what did you do? Like, did did you wait a little while so she didn't know it was just because of the barnet? I, I don't think she, I don't think she knew it was because of the barnet. I just said no, things that things aren't working. Here. Oh, so you thought you'd make it make her feel better by just just saying yeah it's not it's, yeah it's, it's not, not your hair it's your personality it's not you everything else about you i can't stand it's your barnet right yeah fair <laughs> enough <laughs> but well, um no similar to joe i remember there was one girl on a date with who wouldn't stop laughing at me and it, like <laughs> did you fall over no like well i i don't know i'm a funny guy i know that right but i'm not that fucking funny as my missus always reminds me and like it got to the point where like you were saying with the wide-eyed thing it got a bit unhinged yeah do you know what I mean? Like, we were chatting and, you know, it's like, oh, I've got to go back to Manchester because this is in London, you know, like, my me, 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 me grand's not well. She's, I think she's got cancer. <laughs> like, no, no, right, I'm not, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, what? I'm not that fucking funny. What's up with you? So I didn't, um, I didn't, Message her back, or we like, I just did. She start her. laughing when you dumped her. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Well, it's I'm a breaking bit, up. Yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're so good. You, you kill me. <laughs> um, no, it just got really annoying. You know, very quickly. Yeah. And I was just like, this is the, do my fucking head in this. So yeah, I just didn't message her back or just let it peter out. So yeah, I haven't really got um, a proper one where there was mad, mad reason to mm. split up with someone. It was more just not getting with someone again. I do have one last thing. Please do. It wasn't the reason we broke up, but the breakup was, was bad. Go on. Um, I was only about 17, 18. And we were at my house, my mum and dad's house, whatever. And uh, we broke up. I broke up with her saying, it's not working out. And I cried and then, okay, I'm going to go. And then about five minutes later, she knocked on the door and she'd been snowed in. So no. She'd, she'd been snowed in and her car wouldn't start and wouldn't move. Oh. Um, so she's like, can I just stay oh. the night tonight? Because I can't go. <laughs> so she ended up staying. You know what have been really fair? Bed. No, I both facing away from each other and she was just, just crying and that. It's so funny if you did just so gone. Bad. No. no. <laughs> Can I stay? No. Are you fucking deaf? Did you not hear a bit where I dumped you? Yeah. Does it look like I give a shit if you snowed it? Yeah. Don't sit in your car. <laughs> no. That's awkward. That is yeah, mega really awkward, awkward, bro. Um, we were going to have one more, but I think we've run out of time. Okay. Well, we'll actually, we'll sneak it in quickly now. What very quickly. Quick, quick fire round. I slept with my boss and got pregnant. I pretended it was my boyfriend's at the time, who I've now split up with. <laughs> But kept the baby. Do I come clean to my boss? I think we should save that one yeah, until the following hell. week. I don't think that, that that deserves a hell of a lot more time. But if well, you... I think we're going to solve that straight away. No, you don't come clean to your boss. Oh, the fucking telly's gone out now. It's all no, gone off no, now. No, right, we'll deal with that next week then. That's a little taste of what's coming up next week. Joe, big thank you, my brother. Thank Thanks you. Thanks to Joe Thanks for coming on me. the channel. You're a superstar. Good. Thanks for doing the live on Monday as well. Uh, we're going to be back uh, with more Agony Uncles next week. We might get another special guest. But that's been Scotty. I've been Marty. That's been Joe. Big shout out to Joe from Woo! Sloppy Joe's. Go and check out Sloppy Joe's. And thanks for watching.